today we're gonna to do a demo, so we need the full wall. Hi everyone, it's Justin. This video is for you if you feel like you have short legs compared to your body overall. Maybe it's because you have a petite frame and you would like to look taller. Maybe you are tall or even very tall, but you still have short legs. That's me. Or maybe you do have long legs, but you would still like to highlight that part of your body because you like it and because why not? So whatever the height you start with, clothes can help us play visually with proportions. Here are my tips to elongate your legs optically through what you're wearing. Let's start with the bottom half of your outfit. Instead of a cropped length or a 7 8 length that was all the rage in the past few years, you would prefer full length or maybe even a bit longer so that the pants almost hit the floor when you have your shoes on. This pair of black Levi's jeans is a 34 length well, I'm actually more of a 32, it's because I want my legs to look longer. Look for brands that offer several options in terms of length. Typically denim brands do that a lot. Or if you do have to shorten the hem of newly purchased trousers, don't cut it all the way up. Just leave like two centimeters longer than what the tailor is recommending. <laughs> in terms of fit, I do think that skinny jeans, or skinny pants in general, make your legs seem shorter. So I'd rather pick something that is straight legged, like the jeans that I'm wearing in this example, or a boot cut, think what people were wearing in the 70s and 90s. And on the contrary, oversized pants, like palazzo pants or very baggy jeans, like in the 90s, these make you seem wider. And we're trying to look taller, so that's the wrong direction, if you see what I mean. Now, which shoes to wear with this? <laughs> the optically easiest way will always be to match the shoes to the pants. Here you see what it looks like with black heels, pointy heels on top of that, paired with black pants. But you could do the same with any other color. If you don't like wearing high heels, go for platform shoes instead. You get exactly the same results plus comfort. There are many examples of this trick of the colors being used in runway fashion. For instance, Givenchy's boots, these ones, have become a classic. They have hidden a, like a high wedged heel underneath that additional vertical shell, so to speak. When you're wearing these boots, your legs literally seem 10% longer. Fabulous. These are on my wish list one day. <laughs> Balenciaga's signature style in recent years is a look with heeled pointy shoes. That's no coincidence. And they practically integrated the shoe into matching leggings. They also pushed the concept a lot further because uh, they, they even integrated the gloves. Like it's one color and like one piece of clothing from head to toe. <laughs> you can like it or dislike it. But point is this monochromatic look that is iconic and representative of Balenciaga at the moment is extremely flattering because it does make the legs longer. On the other hand, the kind of shoe that you should avoid is probably an ankle boot or a mid-calf boot. Visually, they cut out the leg in half. They're very hard to rock if you have short legs, honestly, unless, unless you're completely covering them up with very long pants. Now moving on to skirts and shorts. And here the petite ladies among you will know that it's not easy to find shapes that actually work. So I would recommend to go for a mini length and high waisted. Mini rather than mid thigh or somewhere above the knee. These are not flattering. So mini is in fact better. Models of duty know it very well. They do it all the time. They are wearing mini shorts, high waisted, so that their legs seem even longer because it's their job to have long legs. You know what I mean? I did find shorts exactly illustrating my point and I'm wearing them on this photo. See how my legs look, seriously, much longer than they actually are. Yay! <laughs> The same thing goes for skirts. If you're gonna wear a skirt, I would say the shorter the better, practically, in terms of proportions. And it is so in the fashion industry right now that you will have many more options in the skirts department than in the shorts department. And for the skirt, also high-waisted. Now, if you're wearing shorts or a skirt, aka showing your legs, showing your bare skin, then we need to talk about shoes again. To elongate the legs that are bare, we want to show as much as the feet as possible too. Look at these Chanel slingback sandals. They're very smart design because they were meant, like the pale part of the shoe was meant to match the skin tone of the wearer. So it looks like the foot is just the black toe part and all the rest is leg. Smart. Since that design was launched many decades ago, many brands have copied the idea and you'll also find options for different skin tones, which obviously is necessary because that pale, like I'm, I'm not even that pale. <laughs> 
generally speaking, sandals that show the foot, at least partly, will always look more elongating than closed shoes. This brings us to the topic of tights. And I know tights are not super fashionable at the moment, but if you're wearing tights, you're literally, again, integrating your feet to your legs, if that makes sense. Look at any ad for tights ever. <laughs> the model will always be pointing her feet and wearing a body, one piece or thong on top of the tights that hit very high above their hips. It's not a coincidence. It's always styled like that, is to make you believe that they have legs 50% longer than yours, thanks to the tights. Now you might ask, what about the top half of the outfit? Balenciaga would say, you match the top with the bottom and with everything else. <laughs> but there are more options than this, if that's not your style. A top which you can tuck into your pants is ideal because it creates volume only from the top of the pants upwards. So if your pants are high-waisted or even higher than your belly button, so higher than mine, your legs will seem super long and your hips at the same time will seem narrower compared to that volume that you're creating at the top. The more you want that volume effect, the more volume you add at the top. This is woven poplin, so a bit of stiffness helps get the volume or a knit that is so dense that it's practically standing by itself, this kind of thing. By the way, in this video, I'm showing one example for each point I'm making, but in the video description, you will find links and suggestions for many more variations of that. One more example of the perfect extension look. <laughs> High-waisted, tight around the hips, flaring out at the bottom, stripes to increase that vertical impression, and maybe the highest platform shoes you've ever seen, on top of that. It's obvious how they carefully chose the outfits for the photo that they wanted to achieve. And any vertical print pattern will help elongate the silhouette. So look for shapes or motifs that are very vertical, very extended for the bottoms and not for the top of the outfit. For the top, you'll prefer something horizontal. So typically vertical stripes on the pants, horizontal larger stripes on the top. See what I mean? This Vogue photo obviously is, a, is an extreme example because she already has very long legs. That's why she's a model. But the tips that I'm giving you really work no matter your height and no matter your size. Thumbs up if you learned something new in this video. Thank you very much. Notes. In the coming weeks, I'm gonna do more videos with advice for each body type. So if you don't know yet which body type you have, go watch this video and do the test, which I explained in the video. I will also put that link in the description down below. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so that you actually get notified when the next video goes up, gets published. And until next time, you can also find me on Instagram. Take care. Bye.